Hey there, comic book fans, or as, uh, or maybe this week it'll be comic strip fans, because I've got a little something to show you this week that's uh, uh, a little different. In that, it's a comic strip. This is Volume One of Walton Skizix, better known as Gasoline Alley, because um, it's named Walton Skizix because the comic strips are in the public domain. But the name Gasoline Alley isn't. So they were going through the, these. These comic strips are from. Uh, let's see, they have a year on this. I think it's 1920. Let's see, I bet there's. Uh, it's not on the outside. There's nice end papers. Walton Skizix. 1921 and 1922. Uh, Walton Skizix by Frank O. King. They said this is really Gasoline Alley, and it's a pretty. It's a really nice book. They've got a preface, it's got lots of photographs, an introduction, it gives you a real nice sense of the time and place that these were made, and what Frank King, and the, you know, and what Frank King was like. Oh, there's some nice reference photos he's taken. <laughs> so, re really nice introduction in these, some of the stuff, that some of his work that led up to Gasoline Alley. I think he, this was in the Chicago... Look out for Motorcycle Mike. And before I got this book, let's see, when did this book came out? come out? I bought this book on a whim. What year did this come out? It came out in... Somewhere in here is a year. Oh, it's from Drawn and Quarterly also. Somewhere in here is a year. 2006. So I probably got this somewhere around 2006. It was at my local comic shop, and I just had nothing to get one week. So I was like, yeah, hey, let's... Let's pick this one up. I didn't even realize it was Gasoline Alley. I thought it looked familiar because I remember the names Walton Skizix, but I didn't know it was oh the Chicago Sunday Tribune. But I didn't know it was um, Gasoline Alley because I, my only experience reading Gasoline Alley was when I was a kid in the '70s, and I wasn't a huge fan of the '70s Gasoline Alley. But this one is really, really good. Um. I ended up getting all, what is there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven volumes of it. They put out a zero volume, which is stuff that came before it was the popularized Gasoline Alley. Oh, look, look, tons of old photographs in the beginning of this. But I always say they're in, um, in my lifetime there have been four great comic strips. Uh, Peanuts, um, Calvin and Hobbes. The Far Side and Doonesbury. Those are the those are the four great comic strips of my lifetime. Now I've added Gasoline Alley to a comic strip before my lifetime. That was as good as them. I, I mean, I really, really do like this comic strip. Wow, look at all these pictures. I've forgotten there are so many. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the comic finally and give you a little look at the artwork. And and what's interesting about this too, especially these early Gasoline Alleys. Is it really, there's really a sense of history to them. There we go. January 1st, 1921. Happy New Year, every. And the, I think these were all, I think the original art from these is all long gone. So I think these were all shot from print, the printed newspaper, if I'm not mistaken. Because people used to collect the newspaper and the strip. I mean, they still do. Like, I think a lot of this came from... Who was it? Chester Brown who was collecting these or something and gave them to Drawn and Quarterly? I forget who. But as you can see, there's a... At one time, it was a square strip. Then it went down to your regular size strip. But th it's named Gasoline Alley because it originally took place in this... Um, in 1920, if you had a car, you were basically a car hobbyist. So that... You, you know, because there was, like, there wasn't all the infrastructure we have now to take care of cars. You had to take care of your own car, and there was, everybody rented a garage uh, in Gasoline Alley. That's what it was. It was just an alleyway with garages on either side, so you could keep your car there, and you had to, you know, keep your tires. You know, your old, everybody's always getting flat tires in this, because there's no good roads in 1920 and 1921. And, um... Walt is the main character in Gasoline Alley. That's Walt right there, the heavy set guy. And one day, somebody leaves a uh, a baby on his doorstep, a foundling they call it, who is Skizix. 
He named him Skeezix and he ended up adopting him. And it's just kind of the... It, it, I hesitate to call it a gag a day strip because there's not always like the, the gags we're used to now. It's more a slice of life strip. And it really does a great job at capturing, you know, life for Walt in 1920 America. It's just, uh, now there's, yeah, I guess maybe they ran these ones on Saturday. The, uh, oh, hold on, I gotta get that in there. Maybe that, I don't remember what, because it, it, it went to all strips eventually. And I have a big Sunday book of Sunday strips too that are pretty neat. But you know, roaming cast of characters. Walt was of course a confirmed bachelor before Skeezix comes along. Then he meets a woman who, uh, who likes him but can't necessarily marry him for some reason. You know, there's a, there was a big mystery to why she couldn't marry Walt or if Walt would propose. It went on for a few years. But uh, like all this early stuff is the gasoline alley stuff. Is the, is the guys hanging out? Yeah, there's a little uh, pulling a sled behind a car stuff. <laughs> so the, it's just it's just amazing how nice this strip is. It's just I, I, I have you know that's the best word to describe it. It's pleasant. It's nice. It's uh, uplifting. It's you know it, it does, oh here he is. That's where he first finds Skeezix in his doorway. So that's the beginning of what we know as gasoline out. And one other interesting thing about this strip is they age in real time. And the strip is still going on and all the ca characters have lived and died since the 1920s. So they're, they're, um, they're still like Skeezix is an old man now. I think he's still alive in the strip, but he's an old man in the strip. He went from a baby to an old man, and I think Walt died a few years ago. But really, really, oh, there he is, showing off the baby in the alley. So it's just a, a, a wonderful, a wonderful slice of life, life strip. It's very kind of um, nice and pleasant. What's the? And you can see the the art isn't always the repro isn't always the best because they just didn't have a good sort. Like you can see a lot of the black is dropping out on these because they just didn't have good sources for the art. They had they had to shoot it from old newspapers because I assume the original art is either probably long destroyed. Who even knows if they kept it? If it's in collect deep in collection somewhere, but yeah, I mean. Who would have original art from 1920s gasoline alley strips? I don't even I don't even know. I don't even know where that would be if it exists. You know, gags where he leaves Skeezix hanging on the line, sort of thing. But, but, but you know, I'm having a hard time describing it because it's uh, it's really you know one part comics, one part gag a day, one part slice of life. One part, uh, I don't know, every one part drama. It's got a lot of parts to it, Gasoline Alley, and, and, and they're all pretty darn good. It's definitely worth a read. Like I said, there's uh, volumes zero through six out. And there's also a couple of um, Sunday volumes, too. They collect the big, colorful Sunday strips. I'll have to do a, another video of one of those, because those, those are very beautiful to, to look at. Because sometimes the... The daily strip had a different continuity than the Sunday strip, and a lot of times the Sunday strip was really there to show off the artwork too. They did a lot. They did a lot with color. They did a lot with printing. They did a lot with you know. They had a lot of big art to show you. And let's see. Is this he goes on. Uh, he goes on a trip. It was interesting. I think it was one of the other volumes. He went on a trip across country, just like Frank King, King did. Imagine going on a cross-country car trip in 1921. There were barely the roads for it. You were forever, you know, getting stuck places, forever patching tires, forever making sure, like if you owned a car in 1921, you were a hobbyist. You know, of course, uh, strips about him and the baby. Nice stuff. That, that one's reproduced very nicely. 
But I can often, I often wonder, like, if you, this little black in his pants, it looks like there's light in there. I don't know if that was a solid black. But yeah, there's an, see that one reproduced very nicely, all that rain. But definitely, definitely worth, worth your time if you, you know, maybe your local library has these or you want to track them down. I think they were like 30 bucks a piece. I got, I used to get them for birthdays and uh, Christmases, so. But wow, lots of just, uh, like I said, I, I had, this is one of the great comic strips of the 20th century to me now. I don't know if there's any great ones of the 21st century, but of the 20th century, this is one of the great strips. If you really want a good read, check this one out. We'll, we'll flip through just a little, few more pages in the back. We'll see if uh, Skeezix has gotten a little bigger. Is that a... Yep, Skeezix has gotten a year older there. They also started reprinting some of these from the 60s. I think, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, Frank King and Dick Moore. I think Dick Moore was doing it in the... Uh, 60s. So I got a one volume of the Dick Moore Gasoline Alley, but I haven't uh, gone through it yet. But I really, really, like I said, I, I love the sense of history in these. I love the story. Uh, it's, it's, it's just good stuff from uh, top to bottom. Oh, that's Skeezix. He's getting into trouble. So there you go. Just wanted to give you a quick look at that. Oh, it's getting all blurry on us. Come on. Um, let me check the back. I'll let you know the price. $29.95. So, uh, there's, oh, there's uh, all our characters. All right, so, uh, there's a little look at, uh, Walton Skeezix and Gasoline Alley. So you guys have a good week out there.